Hello everyone, you're welcome back to Shabest Online Tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to compute GPA in Nigeria University. I have been receiving a lot of messages in my DM from my follower on Facebook to teach them how to compute GPA in Nigeria University. So I decided to make this video today. So what do we mean by GPA? We know that the GPA is an abbreviation. G stands for grade. P stands for point and A stands for average. So this is what grade point average. So to calculate GPA in Nigeria University, the first thing we need to know is that grade, po average, grade point average in Nigeria University is on five scale. So the next thing we need to know is what the percentage score, the later graded and what, and the grade point. For instance, when you score between 70 to 100 mark so the letter graded is a and the grade point of a is five so when you score between 60 to 69 the letter graded is what b and the grade point of b is four and when you score 50 to 59 the grade the letter graded is c and the grade point is three when you score between 45 to 49 to 49 so the letter graded is what is d and the grade point is two and when you score between 40 to 44 the letter graded is e and the grade point is one and last when you score between 0 to 39 is f which means you have failed the course so the grade point is zero so this mark you are seeing here, if you score between 70 to 100, it is A. The mark is the sum of all the mark you obtain on a particular course. For instance, if they um, calculate both your test, your assignment, your attendance, your examination, and you score between 70 to 100, you get A in the course and the grade point is 5. So the next thing we're going to do is to tabulate our data. And to tabulate the data is going to be in the form. So here is the table. So the first column represents all courses, which imply the total numbers of the courses you register in that particular semester. And the next column is what grade. Grade imply the later graded, whether you score A, B, C, or D in that particular course. So the next one is the grade point. We know from here, if you score A, your point is 5. If you score D, your point is 2. So this is the grade point. And the next column is credit unit. The numbers of the credit unit of that particular courses you register. So the next column is what? GP, grade point multiplied by credit unit. So for instance, suppose a student regist registered six course in a particular semester, namely, Maybe number one is what? MTH 101, STA 102, STA 111, then SECO 102, then how many? So we have GSP 111, and the last one, maybe a student register ENG 111 for instance. This is just an assumption. So, for instance, maybe a student score 62 in what? In MTH 101. And we know 62 is in between 60 to 69. So, the letter graded is B. So, the student grade is going to be what? Is going to be what? B. In STA 101, that student score maybe um, 54. And we know 54 is in between 50 to 59. So that means the letter graded is going to be what? It's going to be C. So the next one is STA 111. Maybe students score 73. And we know that 73 is, be is in between 70 to 100. So the letter graded is A. So the next one is ECO 101. So maybe a student score what? It's called 57. And 57 is in between what? In between 50 to 59. So that means it's C. In GSP 101, a student score maybe 50. And 50 to 59, the letter graded is C, also C. Then ENG 111, maybe a student score 80 mark. And 80 is in between 70 to 100. The letter graded is A. 
So this, I haven't get the grade. Now the next thing is the grade point. So from here, what is B? The grade point of B is 4. The grade point of C is 3. The grade point of A is 5. The grade point of C is 3. The grade point of C is 3. And the grade point of A is 5. So from here. So the next thing we are going to get is the credit unit. You know, when you are register any course, you must know the credit unit of that course. So suppose the credit unit of MTH101 is three credit units. Then STA102 is two credit units. Then STA111 is three credit units. EC0102 is two credit units. GSP111 is two credit units. And the last one is ENG111 is what is also two credit units. So this is just an assumption. Suppose these are the numbers of credit units you register per courses. So the next thing we're going to get is what? Grade point multiplied by credit unit. So this is the grade point and the credit unit. 4 multiplied by 3 is going to give us 12. 3 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 6. 5 multiplied by 3 is going to give us 15. 3 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 6. 3 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 6. Then 5 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 10. So the next thing we're going to do is to sum the total numbers of the credit unit and also the sum of grade points multiplied by credit unit. So we're going to sum them. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. Then 14. So the sum is going to give us 14. And similarly, when we add this, 12 plus 6 plus 15 plus 6 plus 6 plus 10 is going to give us what? 55. So the next thing we're going to do is to write the formula used to calculate grade point average in Nigeria University. So the formula we have GPA is equal to what? GP multiplied by CU. What is GP? The grade point multiplied by credit union. The sum. Sum of grade point multiplied by credit union divided by what? Sum of credit units. So this is the formula we are going to use. And from the table here, the sum of grade points multiplied by credit unit, we obtain it to be what? 55. And the summation of the credit unit a student register in a semester is 14 credit units. So to substitute into this formula, this is going to be what? 55, which is the summation of GP multiplied by CU, then divided by the summation of the credit unit, which is 14. And when you divide 55 by 14, we are going to obtain what? 3.93. And of course, 3.93 in Nigeria University is what? Second, second class upper. So this is how to calculate GPA in Nigeria University. So in our next video, we are going to learn how to calculate CGPA in Nigeria University. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to share this video to your fellow students.